Every time someone makes a Dawn of War video, I'm obligated to reinstall it and lose a weekend. That's true. That is true. The same thing happens when you talk about Deus Ex, the, um, the video game on PC. As soon as you mention it, someone will reinstall it. There's a couple of video games where when you mention them, someone will reinstall them. It works really well with Roller Coaster Tycoon. Some of you out there, right now, there are, you know, 1,200 people watching. I guarantee one of you has just gone, yeah, I'm going to reinstall Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm going to play the first first level, and then never again. That's all you're going to do. It's reinstalled straight away. There you go. You're welcome. You've all lost your... It's Saturday. Just reinstall it. Just play it. Gog sales spike incoming. So, you know what? I... I am fully aware, this is a, a true business thing, I am fully aware that when I make a video about a video game, there will be a sales spike. I do not particularly work with the companies that I'm making videos about to, you know, manage this spike, unless it's a specific sponsored video like the Albion Online one was, which I still stand by being an enjoyable game. When I made the Adventure Quest video and the Adventure Quest team responded to me, of course I'm aware that they would have made money off people buying Guardian and buying stuff and you know having the sales spike. When I made the Dawn of War video, I'm sure that good old games, which are currently running a 75% offset on the game, they are definitely going to see a spike in it. But what I would be interested in is... There are many creatures beyond the cities. Not so much the, the money, but the data. I would just be interested in the data to know how many people purchased a game after I make a video on it. Um, just because then, if a company ever do come to me and say, hey, how much would you charge for doing something, I would be able to have a look at the data. But yeah, so I'm not affiliated with Good Old Games, although I have chatted to a couple of the guys from Good Old Games, and they seem decent. I know that Mandalore Gaming does a lot of stuff with them. I think if I was going to team up with any kind of gaming group or conglomerate, I think Good Old Games would be a good choice for what I do. You know? Yeah, like a measurement of shillability. That's a good way of putting it. When someone comes and says, hey, what are your rates? I'm like, that's a good good question. Let's find out together. Let's go on this journey together. But no, I very much do enjoy. Yeah, good old games is pretty cool. I would work with those guys. 